By applying these CapCut editing tricks I'm about to show you, I've been able to grow my YouTube channel to nearly 100,000 subscribers in 80 videos. This isn't a question of if they work. It's how are you gonna take them, apply them to your own videos, grow, and make money. And here's the cool thing. These editing tricks go so far beyond just YouTube videos. I've seen them in cinema, TV ads, music videos, short form, and obviously YouTube. So whether you wanna reach 10,000, 50,000, or even a million subscribers, or you wanna be an industry standard professional editor, these tricks apply to you. This first editing trick is that CapCut now supports VO3, which is the latest video generation model, and the results speak for themselves. This enables insanely high quality, captivating intros for your YouTube videos with a click of a button. Let me show you what I mean. In a blank project, go to AI Media and click AI Video. We can then import an image. I'm gonna go ahead and import the CapCut logo. I then change my video model to 4.0, which says powered by VO3. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to write you a prompt for an intriguing intro using the CapCut logo. Copy your prompt and let's go ahead and paste it underneath. Make sure your aspect ratio is 16 by nine and let's click generate. With a click of a few buttons, CapCut has created this. But you don't just have to use it to create a YouTube video intro. I took a random product outside of my house, uploaded that image into chat and asked it to create a background. I then downloaded that image, imported it into CapCut and followed the same steps I just showed you and it created this. Use this to your advantage to take any image and create an animated version of that with motion graphics and sound effects. Color isolation is a trick used in film and post-production because colors influence emotion. Drag your video onto your timeline and go ahead and click the adjust tab. From there, go to HSL. HSL stands for hue, saturation, and brightness, all things that we can influence in this tab. I wanna isolate the color yellow so that our subject pops out from the background. I can then go to every color and go ahead and desaturate those. You'll now see that our subject really does pop out from the background. Let's go ahead and apply the same steps with a slight different workflow to this next clip. Go ahead and click on the color drop icon and select the color that you wanna pick. CapCut then makes a new color and I can go ahead and desaturate that color. You can see our leaves have lost a bunch of color. There's still some green in it, so I'm gonna go over to the green tab and drop my saturation, go to the yellow tab and drop my saturation some more, and let's go to red and change the saturation and boost this up a bit. I can also see that my apple is looking a little bit orange, so I can change the hue to more red, and that really has exaggerated the red in that apple. In a couple clicks, you can isolate the color that you want to create a stunning, visually appealing video. Remember when I said becoming an industry standard editor? This simple trick I'm about to show you has helped me to reach millions of people. It's all about creating visually appealing edits that flow with the rhythm, giving your viewers a satisfying, immersive experience. But here's the catch. If you do it wrong, it can ruin the entire vibe. That's timing your edits to the beat. In this reference by Kendrick Lamar, you can see that in the entire music video of Humble, he cuts to the beat. We can also see this exact same effect in Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. CapCut makes it so easy to get this right. Go ahead and select on your song and go over to this tab right here. You'll see it says auto mark beats. We can then select beats one, which is gonna add some markers sparingly, or my personal favorite is beats two. This gives us a lot more markers where we can see the exact beat point of that song. All I then need to do is drag my clips onto my timeline and start to get creative with those cut points. I want my first cut to be right on this marker, so I can select W. And as soon as my beat drops, I'm gonna start having a sequence of very fast cuts. You'll see all I'm doing is cutting directly on those markers one by one. Let's go ahead and see how that feels. In 20 seconds, I've cut every clip directly on the beat, allowing the sequence to have rhythm and feel visually immersive. These five editing tricks that I'm showing you today have taken me years of learning, research, and trial and error to learn and master. And the reality is there's just so many more cool tricks and effects that you can do in editing. What if I told you that they could be learned in just months? That's where Skillshare comes in. 
Skillshare helps me find new tricks, effects, and knowledge by giving me access to hundreds of premium classes all about editing and CapCut. Whether you're editing in CapCut or wanna try editing in a different software, there is more than enough content for you to fast track your way to becoming a master editor. On Skillshare, it doesn't just end at editing. There are a variety of different categories, things like productivity, art and illustration, animation, and my personal favorite, marketing and business. The reason this is, is because I'm actively turning my content into a sustainable business. I took this incredible class by Lambs called Monetizing a Small Audience, and it was so rich and deep with information about how to take this content and make money from it. What I find amazing as well is that there's an active community of creators just like us. You can directly comment on classes and get feedback from creators you love. If you're even a little bit intrigued, I have the answer. The first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will get a month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today and I'll see you there. Another trick often used in music videos but also YouTube videos is face tracking. This is great for POV shots or if you wanna create some dynamism while someone's watching a talking head. Blinding Lights is officially the biggest song globally, and he applies this effect in his music video. When your video is on your timeline and you've selected it, you can go ahead and scroll down in the video tab and select camera tracking. If CapCut can recognize the subject's face, it's gonna put a block around the face. We can then go ahead and click start. Once it's done, go ahead and select fit to canvas. I then like to turn shake down to zero, and let's go ahead and see what that's done. Our subject's face, is tracked, meaning that our camera stays locked on our subject. On my second clip, if I follow the same steps, you'll see that our subject is too dark for CapCut to recognize the face. I'm then gonna go ahead and select custom and move this block over our subject's face. Then click start. Our last editing trick is how to hack the color in your video to create a cinematic feel. Halation is used all over post-production and more specifically, color grading you'll see that halation has been used throughout the weekend's blinding light. This works great when you have high contrast footage, meaning a bright point and a dark point. Let me show you what I mean. In this video, you can see that light is coming in from behind our subject. And looking at this video at first glance, it looks all right. But let me show you the power of halation. I'm gonna go over to my effects panel and search for halo. Find dreamy halo and go ahead and apply that directly to your clip. You'll see when I disable our original clip, that we've created a much brighter area of glow. But let's go ahead and tweak this to our liking. By selecting on my special effects, I'm gonna turn blur down to zero and sharpen down to zero. By tweaking my settings, I've created quite a subtle but cinematic glow. Now there's two more things you can do to really enhance this effect. Go ahead and select on your video and go to the adjust tab. Let's scroll down to the bottom and add a vignette. I think eight points on our vignette looks fantastic. I'm then gonna to go to my contrast slider and add five points of contrast. You'll see now that when I compare my video with the before and after, our after looks so much more cinematic. I've applied the same steps to two more clips, showing you the power of halation. Go ahead and apply this to your vlogs, cinematic sequences, or really any footage with bright lights for the best effect. Now I've just touched on five crucial editing tricks that you can do in CapCut, but there is so much more that there is to discover. Stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna teach you five After Effects level editing tricks in CapCut.